Good afternoon, YouTube. What is going on? I'm gonna start this video off by saying shout out to Glide Gear. Boo! We're gonna put some work in today. Y'all see I'm what I'm sitting in? Well, y'all see what I'm sitting in? Yeah, you know them edges, they look kind of rough, but I ain't gonna lie, like I'll probably uh what? About 20 years old? Little lady, huh? I was about 20 years old, or we was about 20 years old. Mm -hmm. We were fresh. We were, we were mad young when we started stitching these seats right here up like this. And we ain't had no book. We ain't had no internet. We just bought a sewing machine and some material. And you know what I'm saying? We put our heads together. I led a little for a little while, and then someplace in there, I kind of lost a little bit of pace that she picked up. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, nah, we, but we did pull it off together. Um, uh, I, I, when I pulled the seats out, I actually started doing uh, some research where back then, you know, the only thing you had was the library. So I went to the library. I um, actually rent some books. I went to, uh, was, it, was it Barnes & Noble's? Barnes and Nobles, um, and got a book. I actually got the book still on the shelf. The books still on the shelf right now. So I took the time, you know, some days to actually read it. Um, brand new sewing machine sat in the box. My mother in law came down. I ain't know nothing about no sewing, man. You know what I'm saying? I, well, I did because I took home ec. Now, I mean, don't play with me, but as far as breaking it down and getting into it, like I ain't gonna lie. You know, I know somebody listening. A lot of the time when I buy stuff, I don't like to read the instruction. So, you know, um, my little lady and my daughter, you know, they got a thing. Cause every time we open up something, my daughter always say, hey, don't read the instructions. Like, you know, you know how the Chinese people be here. Like, we, she always got something to say. Always got something to say. But um, she done, she took... Uh, or try to take over the sewing machine. So right now we got a sewing machine war inside the house. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we got that problem solved because now she got her own set up and her mom's got her, her set up back. Well, I should say my set up because they took it from me first, but it's all good though. We're going to stack up some change and we're going to get us a, a, a heavy duty machine so we can bust them things down now, nah, man. But for real, for real, we going to, this is what we got going on, man. We we really fitting to like dig in now because we, uh, if you watched the video from last night, um, I did sleep in late because I was messing around with the seats, um, or whatnot. And <laughs> kind of funny, Toot came around there. And Toot was around here talking to her mom. I guess I was going a little too hard on the inside of the house, still working on the seat. So Toot comes and he whispers, she about to tell you, you need to shut it down for the night. <laughs> so, so I just letting the cat out the bag, man. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Toot for, for coming out there and giving me a, a fair warning. But yeah, I, I did shut it down for the night. Um... Um, I, but but on the real side of it, um, what I was doing, what I was, I was actually marking up uh, some stuff that I actually um, need to cut or uh, drill some holes so I can get these seats to sit the way I want them to sit inside the car. So with that being said, um, we're going to take a, a, a real good look at this thing because we might, I don't know whether we're going to keep the uh, original bolts that's in the floor or... I really don't want to like mess these seats up because I know it's somebody out there that, that need these seats. So I really don't want to take the brackets off the bottom of them. So if you're watching the video, um, I'm out here in, in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I mean, I don't know how much it costs to ship seats. So I don't know if y'all close by. I don't know if y'all really willing to take the drive. But these seats ain't all that. They starter seats. I ain't going to tell you no lie. Like, I know some of y'all are you guys probably looking at me like, man... Now these 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 seats right here got a lot of sentimental value into them in time. This is some stuff that I did just being honest with you. Like I say, um, when I didn't know anything about upholstering, but um, this round right here, yeah, we 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 gonna bring a lot of pressure this round right here. So I'm gonna need y'all to like really stay tuned to what we got going on because it's a lot going into it. Um, 
a lot of stuff y'all don't get to see because family actually helps out with a lot. I mean, not just uh, family close by. You know what I'm saying? My mother-in-law, she uh, actually uh, does a lot of uh, sewing and stuff. So, But I ain't going to talk y'all head off, man, um, on the intro on this video right here. I'm going to jump up for a second, and I'm going to show y'all how this seat right here look. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean... Hey, I take the good with the bad. Like I say, this right here was, you can almost say 20 years ago, to be honest with you. And this was me starting out like 20 years ago. So, you know, with that being said, kind of telling the age of, of myself at the same time, if this right here was 20 years ago, y'all know what's coming now. I earned the name Mr. Everything. So y'all stay tuned for one second. So, as you can see, what we were doing, and I had a, uh, I'm bad with names, but I had a guy in the comment, the headrest was right here, I got the headrest in the car, that's why you see that hole right there. I had a guy in the comments, and you know what I'm saying, he was like, man, uh, for your first time doing some seats, like, boy, I ain't even gonna lie to you, like, boy, that's a, that's a banged up job for a first time for you to be doing some seats, like, mad respect, you know, and I'm, I'm just looking at it, I mean, it is what it is, man, like, back then, you know, you ain't, you ain't really had people judging you or, or, or whatever, it was just about you doing you, and then back then, like, you know, if you had, like, I remember car clubs where, you know, if your homeboy were really your homeboy, your homeboy would stop by and help you turn bolts on your car. They don't do that too much today. And I ain't going to say everybody don't do it. It's just you rarely see that now. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I think it's more of everybody want to be number one. I don't want to be a part of that party. You feel what I'm saying? So um, I got a couple of people with old schools, man. It don't even matter what kind of old school they got, man. Um, but box Chevys. Um, seven trees, some of everything, man, and whatever I could do to help them out. I, you know what I'm saying? I just reach out to them and I help them out. Um, on the other hand, you know what I'm saying? They do the same thing for me when it comes to body work, uh, upholstery, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got a, a couple of upholstery people. Shout out to my boy Guido too, cause he mad cool. We went over there, we chilled with him. A little bit, you know what I'm saying? Me and Jada did that, did that. And that video up there, too. So make sure y'all go check that video out. Um, I got some other people, man. Um, go, I'm going to go back home one day, and uh, I'm going to show y'all. Um, I call him Mr. Woodbury, but uh, 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 Ralph Woodbury's uh, upholstery. Like, I'm going to show y'all. See if I can get to show y'all some of his work, because he did um, my partner, with, uh, which is his son's car. So... I'm going to get y'all close to that. But, yeah, that's the seat, man, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't. I wasn't. I was just doing something at the time. So, I mean, take it how you want to. You know what I'm saying? And just for me to uh, use a little bit of humor, this seat right here ain't never been in the trash, so I never had to get it out. But y'all stay tuned, man. I'm going to go ahead and, and get into some other stuff. Because I still got to make a Lowe's run and get two more bars for the idea that I got. And I'm waiting on these people to send these lights. So if I don't get my lights, I'm going to be hitting up eBay and or uh, 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 wherever it was, Amazon or whatever. And I'm going to put some pressure on these people, man. But until then, man, look here. Let me figure out what the next move is. <laughs> Yo, so I'll show you all what I got going on right here. Oh. That's a, I was messing with this right here last night, but you see, I already started labeling some stuff right though. So I started labeling that. I started drilling that hole out. The reason I drill that hole right there out is because this dial, when I take these seats in and out, I want to be able to, I don't want to have to be there shuffling the seat around, you know, to position that so I can get that boat where it's supposed to go. So why not make it, you know what I'm saying, close to... How it's supposed to be anyway, so that's just so I can show y'all a little something. Got everything right there. 
You see it? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cut this in a few. You... Yeah, my phone ring, man. But you can see where my line at, man. So that's where I'm gonna make my cut at right there. So once I make that cut, do the same thing on this one right here. That's why you see me had them line up like this right here. Fold together like that. So um, when I make one, and if you notice, you look how I got it folded. It's opposite from that one. So everything labeled. So that way, once I put them up under there, and I, I kept the steel, I mean, um, aluminum tubing, because uh, I'm going to drill some holes in the side right here. And then I'm going to line it up with the aluminum tubing. And then I'm just going to put some bolts through that so I can um, tighten that down to that. And then I will, but I'm going to clean all this right here up for, then I can use my Luma well on the side of it, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, my, my welder on the side of it or whatever. But I'm going um, I'm to have to grab some longer bolts for that. I already done know that already, so. Uh, I'm going to measure and see how long the bolts need to be for me to weld this right here or uh, just kind of show you. Because it's, it's, when it sits down to the side, it's going to be like this. But really, it's going to be like that. So I, I just need the bolt to be long enough to go through. This uh, steel bar and the uh, aluminum uh, rod right there, so uh, I can get me a bolt, probably about an inch and a half. You know what I'm saying? That way I can actually lock it down to where it need to be. But we gonna we gonna definitely get it right, man. That's what we at right now with the markup for the seat. So yeah, we gotta go get two more of these rods right here, cause when I measure this right here in to here. That ain't long enough. When I measure from here to there, that's 19 inches. So we got to go get two more of these right here, you know. So we're going to hit lows up. I know usually I hit lows up. I had Jada with me running my mile. So um, I'm going to try to catch some little video on lows in which you already know what I'm going to get. Uh, Y'all know uh, how I'm trying to lay that thing out. So... Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do, though. Oh, and we're going to get two more, uh, two more of those, too. Because when we cut these, uh, the way we cut these, you know what I'm saying, might, might, we might do that a little different. Uh, then again, I don't know. We might not need two more, though, because we might end up cutting these right here. Uh, about, I'm guessing about six inches long and then bolting it to the front and the back. That way, uh, that bar right there don't be completely like touching the floor. I can run my wires out to the side, um. Uh, right there so they'll be running out to, to the through the side if you get what i'm saying that that bar will still be here but i still have a spot to actually actually run my wires out to the side right there so we're gonna get that done we definitely gonna get that done man so y'all stay tuned man let me hit uh loads up get some more steel tubing and we're gonna go from now Yeah, so I know y'all looking, y'all probably saying, that ain't Lowe's. Nah, it ain't Lowe's, man, but uh, we had to make this stop over here. Y'all know where I'm at. The freight came and got me another uh, step up bit. Um, so I can start uh, getting into the um, this metal for making this frame and everything, man. 
I'm trying to tighten this thing up, man. I'm trying to just go hard and and see. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say see how far I can go, but just uh, just get to it, man. You know what I'm saying? Just get to it. Just just get in there and start the grinding some stuff down. Uh, I got some bolts right now. I'm gonna I'm mock them up with bolts. And then once I mock them up with bolts or whatnot, I'll probably use my little uh, solder. That's a solder. Not solder. Oh, man. I'm losing it. Uh, my um, flux. I use my flux. And then um, what I do with my flux is I probably uh, wear all them bolts on in. So with that being said, you know, I'm sitting here looking at some cutoff wheels now because I do got a little bit of cutting to do. I got cutting to do when I get down to having to put the roof in and everything else. So um, that's why you see me looking at this right here. So I need to, uh, I got to grab some cutting wheels, definitely. Cause you'll run through these things, man. You be sitting there and you know what I'm saying? You got to take your time by the time you done get through one you don't realize how fast you be done use that one, you know? So uh, that's why I went ahead and just, uh, I'm grabbing them now, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm also grab these right here. Now these right here be pretty good. You, get, you never know what you need, man. So I ain't trying to sit out here and, and just, uh, be out running back and forth so I'm just trying to get everything I think I need as of right now that I can work you know what I'm saying and kind of keep things going and you know what I'm saying just, just go from there twist lock this medium that's fine you start getting that stuff like that right there you know what I'm saying you can start and I wish they had these right here by the bag they used to sell them by the bag but I don't even see them by the bag no more, man. $5.99 for six of these right here. They ain't really bad when you start taking these right here and, and being honest with you, like, uh, getting into, you know what I'm saying, messing around with the body work and all that stuff. So, um, I got a pack of these right here at the house. I got some little spots I really need to touch up, put some, uh, Pull 15 on so we got one pack at the house ain't gonna hurt for us to get another pack we go ahead and grab that then i'm gonna walk down here and see what they got on clearance so somebody done brought a nice little helmet back 27 dollar mark down somebody brought a sander back 18 dollars what is that all? Okay. So this is what I be doing, man. I walk in here and see what people bring back. You might mess around and run up on a good deal like that right there, man. But y'all stay tuned, man. Let me uh pick the rest of this stuff up so I can go ahead and get up out of here and get back to this house and get to work. Yeah, so we headed back to the crib now, man. Um, y'all probably wondering why I'm kind of quiet, man. I was stacking up some paper, and then I turned around and blow paper on some stuff. Bigger impact and a coilless grind. You ever bought something and just, you know what I'm saying? You know, you just got to go extra hard after that, man. That's 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 how I'm feeling right now. I know I got to go extra hard after this right here, after buying this stuff right here, cause I got other stuff I need to be doing. But you know, uh, the um, impact was marked down. The um, grinder was marked down, so I had to get it. So. With that being said, hey, 
it is what it is, man. I left my 20% off uh, coupon at home today. So by the time I uh, take my receipt back with me and let them slide that 20% uh, and get that money back in my pocket. And that's why they got them. Hey, you know, for those of y'all that didn't know that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you purchase something from Harbor Freight, you don't have that 20% coupon. And see, some people, they'll be generous because they'll actually use the 20% coupon at the register for you. Um, young lady working at the register for with me today did not want to slide a 20% coupon. Instead, she tried to sell me the membership, which I should have been had a membership as much as I um, shop at Harbor Freight for the tools that I do shop for. But uh, I mean, it's all good though. I get my 20% coupon. When I come back out tomorrow, I just go get me a little bit of change back. But we're gonna get to this house, man. Um, I got my bars over here. Got my screws right here. We're gonna mock some stuff up, man. We're gonna drill some holes. We're gonna uh, at least try to get those steel bars on the seat today. So. I can kind of give you guys something, some kind of progress to look at. So y'all stay tuned, man. Let me put this phone down while I'm driving. All right, YouTube. Well, we back at the crib. See, I got in here all messy, man. That's my paper. I got to pick that right there up. I had that down there so I could label my wires and all. But my office is real junky. I ain't going to lie to you. I got to straighten this stuff up. My little Lowe's bag. Show it y'all. I got some uh, bolts right there. And I got the some 24, uh, 3 by 24. So I'm going to bolt everything together first before I even start doing any type of welding. But uh, I'm going to try to get y'all a little bit of work in. Get y'all a little bit of work in because... I got to, I got to do the little family exercising thing today. They want to ride bikes, so um, we gonna wait to cool down a little later. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, let me go ahead and and get my holes drilled for my bottom mounts on my seats right here, and then I go from there. I see all that rabbish in the background. You know what I'm saying? That's Jada. I don't know what she got going on, but yeah, let me go ahead and get right right there done. And then uh, after I get my holes, well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going uh, to show you. I'm going to move these because these are the ones I just bought. But I'm going to go ahead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drill all my holes out on, on both of these. So I can go ahead and mark this, this seat right here up. So what I want to do is I want to put the holes in there. Then I can go outside to my grinder, which we ain't going to tell the little lady that we went and bought another grinder from Harbor Freight. But, yeah, um, I'll go outside with the grinder. And then we going to grind this right here. You know what I'm saying? Get our straight line on that. And then we're going to come back in here and we're going to put our bolts in there just to see how this metal bolts up to or our brackets we're gonna start calling them brackets now because we about to fab this thing right on up man so y'all stay tuned for a second man let me go ahead and um drill these holes first and then i'm gonna make my cuts right. so i'm gathering my tools up right here but i'm gonna show y'all how i'm gonna get uh my new tools in the house because i'm gonna go slide out the back side of my office and bring him in through the back door. Voila. So let's go. Right on out of y'all. On out of y'all, boy. Check the door. Now we're with it. We're going to run right back. Real quick. We slide.
see what she got going on. Hey, YouTube. That's probably about... Not even... I say about 10 minutes. We already got them holes drilled and all. We use our titanium drill bit from Harbor Freight. Uh, and then we use our uh, step up bit right there. Now I will tell you, I put the Bible to the test today. It made it. Still running. But boy, when I tell you that thing got hot, it got hot, so it did a job for the day, so mad shout out to Bauer. You know what I'm saying? Still sitting there hitting. So next uh, thing we gonna do is I'm gonna go get that grinder and I'm gonna grind these bars right here. Go ahead and get that cut on them. Once I get that cut on them, then I can actually take them in there and we'll see if we can bolt them up to the seats right quick so y'all stay tuned for me all right you too so you can see we don't want out though we don't cut our pieces of metal down we still hold on to these right here ain't no telling what we have to do later on so first thing we're gonna do is uh see how we gonna do this here Pulling my plastic off. I put that back on. So, just say left side. Just say right side. So, you see, I had them labeled. Another thing I did while I was cutting, if you notice, I took my grinding wheel and knocked them sharp edges off. I probably clean them up just a little bit more, but I'm gonna. I'm going to spray them black anyway. Once I get everything mocked up, I'm going to spray everything black to match the bottom of the seat anyway. So, uh, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and I can find my bolts right quick. Find my original. These right here, the original. Right here. But, uh, what we gonna do? Yeah, well, we we try and twist the originals in there right quick. Uh, it's a special tool you need to, to twist those in there. But uh, we gonna we gonna see if we can if we got everything lined up. So we just gonna grab um, two nuts, two bolts. And see these right here, these seats right here, they, they are already perfect for the bolts. So we you don't really need to put it already, it comes with a washer on it anyway. So, so if I could uh let me see if I can set you up right here. So you kind of see what's going on while I'm doing this here. Oh, I see what we're gonna need to uh, get our little prop right quick. Get this thing up off the floor a little bit. So we take that, prop that back up under there, just a little bit, and then get our bar back. Remember, I left these right here on there, so that's gonna allow us to should allow us to line back up right there. And so far, so good. We was able to get that in there, no problem. We just gonna we just gonna put them on there and snug them up. We ain't gonna tighten nothing down like that yet, cause we still gotta get the top on there. And you know that little metal piece in the middle, you want it to be balanced. So yeah, we just put it on there, and snug it up. So that went on good. I'm gonna put this one on at the top and then I'm gonna pick the camera up, let you see. So, uh, top went on pretty good too. So, so far, so good. All right. Show you what I got, YouTube. 
that's my bracket right there. And you see how sturdy that thing is right now? Ain't even moving. So I, like I said, I wanted to keep that right there so you can lock your seats down um, in place. So this part right here, I'm going to probably have this set up so where it'll stay inside the um, the car. Um, and then I'm going to find what I do is I, I these bolts right here, I'm going to probably tack where well these bolts on the outside so they can stay right there. And that way, once you start to loosen it up the seat, the only thing you're really taking out is the bolt right here. But uh, this right here was this was my second one. I made this right here. I made this cut from the first cut. So uh, we can put the second... Well, matter of fact, let's go ahead and put it on there right quick. So we see what we see where we at. Uh, we lift that up just a little bit. We grab us some more screws out of here. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Grab us some more screws out of this original. Mm -hmm. All right, so right side, we about to see what kind of job we did on this thing here, YouTube, oh, boat fall straight in, go ahead and Snug it. Like I said, we ain't gonna tighten it up. Cause put that tight, that top one in. But that little metal piece that sits right here throws it off balance just a little bit. So you know, put your put your uh front one in. Then you can go back and start snugging everything up just to kind of see where you at. And I'll show you in a, in a few why I did these like that. All right, so there you go right there. There you have it. We got both brackets on there to where you can bolt your seats down into the car now. Next phase of this thing right here, man. Um, I've been just thinking overnight just to kind of make it real simple because we still got to have a way to run our actual power wires out through here through the side from under the seat and we definitely don't want to run them through right here where our controls at and risk getting them pinched so uh with that being said what i'm gonna probably end up doing with that is um i'm gonna try and match something up i wanna i'm a i'm a Make these other back brackets for the uh, driver's seat. And since the driver's seat already outside, what I do then is I go ahead and uh, take the parts out there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this aluminum right here. And just to kind of show you all what I'm going to do right now, I got tape on it. So it's holding it together. But I'm going to loom away this thing right here in certain sections. And I'm going to probably take about, I'm guessing, I don't know, probably about right down. I, I'm going to take measure someplace. I got to find that. But I'm going to take about six to seven inches. And I'm going to mount six to seven inches off in here someplace so I can run bolts through them. That way, with, with me, that allowing me to run the bolts through them, um, this aluminum will then stand on the side of this bracket like this right here. So that whole that whole uh, bottom bar right there, 
I gotta make sure I get my well and everything right on that, cause when I do do that, like that's how it's gonna be right there. So I'm gonna put me a, at least a good four holes in there. And I could do it like this right here, but uh, I have to make sure the aluminum well on that thing pretty good and then kind of go from there. But uh, we're going to see, man. We're we, we going to see. You know what I'm saying? Just to make this thing real sturdy, we're going to see. We're going to go ahead and um, definitely. We might go ahead and aluminum well this thing. That way it's, it's already together. That way if I need to go ahead and cut it, I'll go ahead and cut it, man. But uh. I know y'all hate this part of the video right here. Just because I don't want to make the video super long, man. Um, I might make a two-part because I'm going to keep working tonight. But I'm going to end this video off right here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know how long it is right now. But if it ain't too long, I might continue it. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, I'm going to end it right here. But y'all know what I always tell y'all to do, man. Push like, subscribe, um, push that bell for them notifications. Follow me on IG at Rich underscore everything with an A. Since Toot ain't here to tell y'all that. And we're going to go ahead and finish getting these seats right here right. Because one of the things we got to do is we still, if we're going to do that, we got to drill more holes in this right here. So we can actually know where we got to drill the holes at in here so that's why i said we got some work to do man so i'm i'm a, i'm gonna loom a well this thing right here and see what's going on with it man but that'll be on the next video man i appreciate y'all for locking in man we got this thing right here it's a goal you see how tight the the bracket says on the bottom of this thing man that's gonna give you another at least one inch lift on the seats um uh, from the video you saw last night you know it was sitting a little bit low um i wanted to be just a little bit higher so that's what we're working on now man but y'all stay tuned man let me go ahead and get this thing all worked up you know what i'm saying and i get back at y'all on the next video